Nechama Leibovitz was one of the most important Jewish Bible scholars and teachers of Tanakh in the 20th century. Her work is especially important for us at Revel because she combined a scholarly analytic methodology and literary study of Tanakh with a profound respect for Jewish tradition. Many of us know students of Nechama from the 1970s and 80s, perhaps even as far back as the 1960s. We at Revel are privileged to be able to host a student of Nechama's from the 1930s, Mrs. Esther Manashevitz, who lives in Teaneck, New Jersey. Mrs. Manashevitz was not only Nechama's student, she was her close neighbor in the Kiryat Moshe section of Yerushalayim from 1930, when Nechama Leibovitz first had arrived in Israel and moved into the neighborhood soon after arriving from Berlin in 1930. Mrs. Manashevitz tells me how she used to take the bus with Nechama when she was eight years old to go to school from 1930 onward. And it's almost as though we can meet Nechama Leibovitz when she was 25 years old, she, had, she was just starting to teach uh, in Yerushalayim. And we're able to relive this through some of Mrs. Manashevitz's recollections. And Nechama Leibovitz was the teacher at the seminary for women. So she became my teacher. And we used to go to school every morning together. She always was looking at her papers, 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 papers. I was very close to her because I knew her since I was little and she was damn close with the family. So I was not afraid of her, but a lot of people were. She was tough, but very kind and very nice too. Mrs. Manashevitz herself, after studying with Nechama Leibovitz, went on to teach in Tel Aviv in the 1940s. And I think many of our students who themselves are going to be Jewish studies teachers can relate to Mrs. Manashevitz's recollections of her experience as a first-time teacher. Hearing from Mrs. Manashevitz will introduce an evening of Nechama Leibovitz that Revel will host on Tuesday, October 22nd. That will be the first part of the program. The second part will be an academic lecture that I will deliver on the topic of Nechama Leibovitz's unique integration of the literary method and Parshanuta Mikra. I was privileged myself to study with Nechama in the 1980s and discuss with her her own studies of Tanakh and Bible scholarship in the 1920s in Berlin. At that time, she found the literary method, which was just beginning, to be of particular importance for appreciating our great Parshanim, and that's what I would like to dwell upon in my lecture. The evening program about Nechama Leibovitz is one among a number of events that Revel will be hosting over the course of the year. For more information, have a look at our blog and like us on Facebook. These are exciting times at Revel. We just published a new magazine that went out to over 1,500 alumni and friends of Revel. We've also just started a new program of Jewish education and Jewish studies together with Azrieli. For more information about that, you can look on our website as well. We've just dedicated new space at Revel, a dean's reception area, and a student faculty lounge that enhances the sense of a Revel community. These spaces were dedicated through the generosity of Mordechai and Monique Katz, who have been supporters of Revel for over two decades now. We hope to see you on Tuesday, October 22nd, on our evening celebrating Nechama Leibovitz and Tanakh scholarship, as well as other great events that Revel will be hosting throughout the year. And then the third one is Epicurus, which the Rambam synthesis is an Aramaic word because philosophic language also went into Parshanut Hamikra. So, so you learn something that which is adapted, and you eventually have to analyze how it's adapted to the context of the Rambam.
how it is adapted and why that's a row that would go from around 1160 to around 1235. Somehow people got those dates in their head that those were fixed dates, they're not. Um, so we're looking at late 12th, early 13th for a document. What's this book all about? Right? Why, are we, why is it important if it's a the Divrei Hayabim will not tell you who died. To save you time, uh, the answer is no. <laughs> the uh, answer is no, but we'll see, we're going to read documents. Access to Jewish literature and remind you you have access to the fifth floor of the library. 